Now sit with us on 14 as powerful tools for taper view for the PEB market. This movie demonstrates how you can easily create a portal frame made of taper blinks and use automatic connections between the different members. Let's start by creating a column with a welded beam stepper icon available in the ribbon. In the properties dialog box which opens, you can specify how many segments you wish to have for this beam and the length of each segment. For your information, a taper beam can have up to 5 segments. In the flange group, you can decide if flanges are made of plates or made of flats, and this gives you access to a complete intentional catalog of flats. Or you can just select the flat previously chosen. The components of the two flanges can be different, but you can also choose the same as option to get the same ones. The weight thickness can be different along the beam. Now let's zoom to the bottom of this column. We have access to a complete library of automatic connections thanks to the connection vault which has been redesigned for this new release of Advanced Steel. It is easy to use a base plate connection and apply it on the taper column. The base plate is created together with shortenings on the flanges and on the web of the column. In the dialog box, you can control the base plate thickness and dimensions. You can ask for middle stiffness between the base plate and the column web. Different available options allow defining the size and the thickness of this stiffness. At any time, you can change the used visual style and navigate in your 3D model to see the result. Now let's zoom to the top of the column. We can now create the rafter starting from the column upper node point and specify a length of 2 meters. Once again, it's easy to define the quantity of segments with the new or delayed buttons. The length can be specified and the fixed length options keeps this value even if the length of the rafter is changed afterwards. It's easy to give a different height between the start and the end of the beam by entering the right values in the dialog box. A taper beam can also be stretched at any time by moving the start point which is at its end. If needed, the user can draw some construction lines which can be useful in some cases. Here a line is drawn to give a possible length to the rafter and then the rafter can be aligned to this line by moving the node snap to the middle snap of the line. Let's create the other side of the roof with another rafter created between the two peak points. And then we can adjust quantity and length of each segment in the properties dialog box. To create the connection between the column and the rafter, Advanced provides different automatic connections. Let's use this one called Moment and Plate. In the dialog box, it's easy to specify the quantity of holes and the distance between them. It is also very easy to specify upper, lower, and slot stiffness on the column. With a checkbox you can decide these are slot or horizontal on the column. For the connection between the two rafters, we can use the splice automatic connection. We could use also the front end plate joint. We can apply it from the connection vault between the two members. As you can see, Advanced 2014 has a complete set of automatic connections 
which can be applied between different bins and which offer many choices in the properties dialog box to get the connection that you wish to create in your 3D model. Now that half of the portal frame is modeled, you can use the advanced copy command with the icon available in the tool palette. Then you just have to specify the mirroring line by picking two points. And the entire structure is copied by mirror on the other side. For the apex between the rafters, we can use the front plate splice automatic connection, which creates vertical bolted end plates. And where the user can once again easily specify the value of the thickness of each component, thanks to explicit pictures for an easy understanding of the different options provided by the automatic connection. It is possible to have beam stiffeners and decide if they have to be perpendicular or sloped. As you can see until now, the creation of taper beams with connection is very fast and efficient. But the modifications are also very powerful in advanced steel. Any modification applied to the tapered beams has a direct effect on the connections, as you can see in this example, where we, can, where we change the column size. If you want to add some stiffeners to the variable part of the column, just use the automatic stiffeners from the connection mode and pick a point of the column where you want to insert them. The stiffness length is automatically calculated. Even better, if you move the stiffness by moving down the sphere which is a way to easily move these elements, the again adjusts automatically to the column size. Now the portal frame is complete and we can use another viewpoint to see it from the view front. This movie just gives you a small idea of all the power you have with Advanced Steel 2014 to handle projects with taper beams.